Hi, welcome to Matlab Games. I'm your host, Anthony. I'm Francis. Today, we are bringing you Primal. Primal. Again. Once again. <laughs> so, yes, we are continuing our campaign uh, with the next scenario in Primal. Uh, if you remember our last uh, our last scenario, mm -hmm. we were fighting uh, Tormat, yeah. which was a bone monster. So, yes. every monster has a sort of a different element, uh, which will grant you pieces of them actually <laughs> when you uh, kill them you yeah. get to loot them and you'll uh, unlock forges for those yeah. elements and be able to craft all sorts of gear uh for your next scenario to fight another monster and, mm -hmm. and you have obviously uh some options on what you can do from that point yeah. so we're going to do a continuation so we we basically completed our our uh, mission as you saw we finished it we beat them uh we gathered all of the rewards which were like lots of Bone and horn. Horns. Actually, he was a he horn. Was a horn. Yeah, not yeah. a bone. He was a horn monster. But he he gave us bone. He gave us bone. They all give you bone and blood yeah. and all sorts of body parts. But uh, in any case, the most important piece was the bone. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, the bone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because no, not the bone. The horn. Why do I keep calling it bone? Because that was like one of the materials. It's yeah. kind of confusing. It's like the element. And it was also kind of looks like horn. Bone. But then, like, it's actually like horns are like kind of made of bone. So they like kind you of get are. like bone shards and like I guess some blood and like some other stuff all falls off this yes. monster, and then you so, get to mush it all together and make make whatever you want, really. Weaponry. Yeah. So we made a lot of stuff. Yes. Uh, in preparation for the next mission, and the next mission, uh, we had a choice. We had three quests available on the board. Uh, we chose one called the Pack Leader. Yes. If you will read that for us. Okie dokie. Um, so, the archaeologist Amara has prepared an expedition to explore the gorges of the canyon bordering the Salt Desert. Mm. The aim is to study the ruins of an ancient civilization that once lived on Thyrea. A team of hunters is required to escort Amara and her seekers. All right. So, what we have run into is a creature called Phylaxir. Laxir is a crystal element beast Super cool. that we chose to fight against. So he's like kind of a wolf with like crystal shards coming out of him and a lot of a lot of tails going on here. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna fight up against him. We are the same characters: Hellerin, the heavy gun, and Kara. Kara, the, the dual blade. The dual blade. Uh, as you can see, the board is set up with certain plants out there. I don't know the names of these things because they have very strange names. But for all intents and purposes, those two plants here uh, will. Add additional damage to our attacks if we're in those zones when we attack him. Uh, this one here will heal us at the start of your turn, uh, and the rock can be used to mitigate attrition damage if you're in yeah. that zone. But you only get to use it once because then it's gone. He like breaks the rock. Yeah, it's like you hide behind it and he breaks it. And yep. Whatever. So refresher course here. It is a ten round scenario. They all are, mm -hmm. and we have to knock him down to zero health. He yeah. comes with ten health. Right. Uh, Not you... exactly ten rounds, but. 10 health points worth 10 of health play. points worth of play <laughs> yeah. over the course of 10 over rounds. The course of 10 so it is 10 and 10. Right. So indeed it is I'll 10 rounds. i keep my mouth shut. Yeah, so I'll do the talk. <laughs> uh, so then again, and again, as you know, this is a cooperative game. Yes. We are going to be fighting against this thing, and I'm going to be controlling all of the all of the good. So let's take a look at his, uh, his setup. All right, so as you can see, we have his uh, stance. Mm -hmm. Actually, these are backwards. Oh, there you we go. have his stance. And his, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but this mm -hmm. is how they tell you set up. So we have his stance, we have his uh, peril cards, and we have his objective. Objective is only for his stance number one. There's three different stances, uh, and every stance will have its own respective um, peril card. Mm -hmm. So in his first stance, he's going to have, uh, he's going to take six wounds per, or six damage per player. So it's going to take a total of 12 damage in order to effective affect one wound on him, right. right? So when he gets down to seven health, which will be down here, he will then go to his second stance. His damage is one. So if he ever hits us during attrition, we're going to take one damage. Uh, his um, vulnerability is on his flanks. So we yes. can't hit him from the front or the back. He can only take damage from the sides. So we got to remember that when we're attacking him. His, uh, his peril now is when a player suffers attrition damage, trigger all behavior cards in play with a rampage reaction which would be that guy there yeah. also at the start of round one which is right now trigger all behavior cards and play with a rampage reaction so we're going to trigger that yeah our objective for the first stance and this can only be used mm -hmm. is uh, assign this card to a player and we'll assign it to you uh, when a behavior card is revealed the player with this card may cancel the effect of that behavior card uh, and if they do flax returns to their sector it's a torchlight so you're yeah. kind of like distracting him right. i guess so um we can only do this once per round, mm -hmm. uh, and depending on how many rounds it takes us to get to his second stance, yeah. to, to basically do three damage to him. Cool. 
Uh, we've got his behavior cards all set up. He's ready to roll. We do have new gear. We're going to go through that. You're going to be player one. Mm -hmm. You've got the aggro for the first round. Yeah. Um, and want to go through real quick. So let's draw our five cards okay. up so that we have our starting hand. Great. And then you can go through your your setup, yeah. and then we'll we'll get going. And then I'll then I'll do the rampage bit. Ooh, so go ahead. Okay. Cool. Um, so I still have my red scale helm, which I had last time, uh, which gives me an action. Discard the top card of your deck if it's a uh, attack red attack card. I can add it to my hand. I can do that once per turn. And then I also have spined armor, so I can hold up to two stamina tokens. At the end of my action phase, I gain two stamina tokens instead of one if I have two or more cards in my hand, mm -hmm. um, which is pretty cool. And then I also got big jaws. <laughs> yep. When the monster turns to your sector, you can exhaust this card to deal two damage for each um, uh, threat. threat. Or, uh, not threat, aggro. Uh, aggro in your discard pile. So that's that little horns like this guy right yep. there. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then I, I did make a couple of potions that will help me heal up, which I'm sure I'll need. Okay. So... We have the we have the equipment, so let's go. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna get ready to do the resolution. All right, so we do have to do the uh, start of the round, trigger all the behavior cards. So we're gonna trigger this guy here, and this is the iridescent wrath. So players in front and flank sectors reveal the top card of their deck. Uh, Phylaxir gains one struggle for each different color revealed this way. Mm. So I will reveal I have a green. And I have a green. One. So he only gets Very one good. struggle. So that was that was the best outcome. So that's going to go in the discard pile. We're going to bring out a new one. And that's going to trigger as soon as you start because that is from front sector, uh, which is fine. That's good. Yeah. So we, we resolve that. Now we're going to go through. We have our round track. Uh, this basically tells us exactly how the, uh, the, turn, the round structure goes. In the beginning, we, we could consume, so you we each have an opportunity to drink potions, mm -hmm. which in the beginning of the game you just don't do. Monster yeah. upkeep. Behavior refresh is skipped in round one because we really haven't done any behaviors, but then we're gonna, the monster's going to gain one struggle per player, so he's going to get in two more struggles, so now he has three. At six struggle, he is going to unleash, and we're going to suffer one wound each. Yeah. So that is done. Now we go to the player turns, which is you first, um, and we automatically trigger this because, because he we, is staring in our face you are starting in the front <laughs> sector so we do yeah. resolve this guy and it is claw of fate the active player reveals the top card of their deck during the action phase this turn the active player must either play a card of that color as the first card in their sequence or suffer damage mm, so you need to play a green card a green card is the first card in your sequence all right, so now you for, now you begin and you start with the movement phase. So if you wish to move, you may. Um, I won't move uh, because I will play this card. Okay, and that is well. Let's just Which for is, the for the for all uh, for people following around by not moving by choosing mm -hmm. not to move, you automatically become threatened. Oh, okay. Never mind. I won't play this then. Yeah. Because this was going to let me move without paying any stamina. But that's good because when you move, you will become unthreatened. Oh, as soon as I move? Yeah. Oh, that's how that works? Yes. Okay. I always move at the beginning of my turn, so. Well, here's the catch. Like, in the beginning of your turn, you have the option to move without paying. Because if you don't have a card that lets you move, you have to pay stamina to move to right. an adjacent space. Yeah. But because your card says you may immediately move without paying any stamina cost for playing this card, mm -hmm. um, you get to do that. Yeah. So I get to move here. Boop. <laughs> Um, what? I'm just thinking because you pl by playing this card, uh -huh. it does cost one stamina. And I, oh, you did pay well, it? I paid it. Yeah, I'm going to oh, pay it using well. this. Why is there a card on top of your... This is so I remember oh, what okay. color I'm supposed to be <laughs> I was doing. Like, is that your discount? Okay, so no. you're going to pay a thing. Yeah, I'm just thinking about what card I want to use to pay for it. Oh, okay. I think I'll, I might actually pay, play this card. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you paid the stamina. Now you've, mm -hmm. you've satisfied the green. You're I not going to take the damage. Thing. And I get to move mm -hmm. without paying a stamina cost. So I will move here. Okay. That's it. And I get rid of this because I moved. Yes. And that's it. You're not going to play any other cards? Nope. Really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I could... Um, what I could have done is when that behavior card was revealed, right? Like it was just revealed mm -hmm. that we just did. 
I should have played this and discard this from my hand to o immediately overrun the monster. Then you would have been behind him. Yeah, so I would have been here. Okay. It's all going to wash out the same way. But I overrun the monster, mm -hmm. so I put a token on here. So you get, just because, so you can get a counter. <clears throat> yeah, and so okay. for those of you who haven't watched the first video, I have this, um, my kind of special skills called Piercing Dash. It's called, it's called a Mastery. So, my Mastery? Yes. Um, it's my special skill. Mm -hmm. you, you have a special set of skills. I have only have not even a set, just one skill. Just one skill. <laughs> special <laughs> one set really of skill. skill. When I overrun the monster, uh, eventually I'll be able to do damage when I overrun, which is running mm -hmm. through him like that. Um, but I have to get some counters up there. I got practice. Okay. I got to get good at it. Uh, so I'll go there. And then for my move for this card, yeah, I'll just move, move to the so side. Same, same thing. It's just. Okay. Yeah, whatever. So now you didn't play any aggro in your sequence, but nope. you have it from the start. Mm -hmm. So you just, you happen to have it anyway. Yeah. So what's going to happen is since you are done. Mm -hmm. We go to um, the attrition phase. So we're going to pull an attrition yeah. card since you're not threatening. Now, should I use this red scale helm? What is that now? Action. Discard the top card of your deck. If it's red, add it to your hand. Do you think I should do that once per turn? I mean, do you need to? Like, what is that going to do for you then? Helps me get through my deck. Oh, uh, okay. If you want to get through the deck. Sure. You know? uh, it's not. No, so it gets discarded. Like no, right? I would oh, it discard doesn't? the top of your deck, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah that stinks. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so you, you get to use that once per turn as an action. Mm -hmm. So you did okay. that already. You're done. Um, at the end of my action phase, I'm going to get two stamina tokens, please. Because mm -hmm. I have two. All right. Uh, so here's attrition. So it's a one, but mm -hmm. you have a one, so you don't take any damage. Oh, okay. And now you discard, draw cards up to your, your five card limit, and then the monster is going to turn to you with mm -hmm. your aggro. Okay. All right, now, and now does that? Go? Nope, it does not. It only, it does only as a result of the behavior card resolution. Since there was mm -hmm. no behavior card resolving, yeah, it doesn't do it no. uh, because you didn't play a yellow or a blue card. Right. Actually, okay. you only played one card. You played a green card, right? I did. Okay. Yeah. So your turn's over. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now it's my movement, and I'm not going to move. So that is going to threaten me because I'm already in his flank. Mm -hmm. So I will do damage and none of these trigger because I haven't done anything um so what can I do can I shoot this fool barrage of bullets spend any number of bullets to increase the damage of the yes I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna play barrage of bullets it's gonna cost me one stamina which I will hmm hold on actually yeah I don't want to play any Oh, this card is talking to Okay, so I'm going to spend this card to discard. Okay. And that's going to be my one stamina cost. Now, spend any number of bullets to increase the damage this attack deals by two damage. Uh, well, it's two times weapon level, which would be two damage for each bullet spent this way. So I'm going to spend three bullets, all of my bullets. Boom, boom, boom. That's going to be two, four, six, plus my weapon damage of four. That's ten damage. Right to Phylax here. Hmm. Boom. That's great. That's a mega hit. He can just taste it. How'd that feel, buddy? Uh, I am going to get aggro because this card has aggro. Now I will follow it up with... You may spend a bullet to increase the damage. Oh, that's pretty good, too. So here's another one I'm going to do. I'm actually going to trigger that that um, that blue, I think. Um... You know what? Yeah. Are you playing that red card? Hold on, I'm really thinking about something first. Hold on. When you discard this card, generate stamina for a red card reload. Okay, you know what? That's. <clears throat> why? Why are you asking me? Because I have this card called Offensive Attitude, yeah. and when another player plays a red card in their sequence, yeah. I can discard this card to search for a red card from well, my, I already played, my deck yeah. and add it to my hand. You could do it for this card I just played. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. okay. Well, you asked me if I was going to play another one, right? I was just asking if you were, gonna play, if you were not going to do what you just did because you kept back thinking you weren't. Oh. Well, here's another catch. Since I used bullets, if I use a bullet, I did to do ignite. That's a keyword on my, my card here. And in fact, I didn't talk to you guys about what I have in my, my inventory here. So I've got my gun, uh, Adamo Ignis, and it has... Uh, does four base damage, but it has um, ignite, which I place a counter on the behavior discard pile, right? So his his behavior discard pile, which I will put a counter on, right now. 
right? And then when he escalates, meaning he runs out of cards and he has to reshuffle this deck, his behavior cards, he's going to suffer however many extra damage uh, is on there for that. Because he's kind of like on fire, I guess, and when he gets mad, it, it hurts him. Which I always forget to do, so I have to remember to do that. Um, I have the spine armor, which is the same thing you have. I do have a skeletal spear, which will actually let me do some stuff um, if he's facing me. I get to negate his behavior. So what I'm trying to think of doing is like I want to do recharge, and that'll give me a reload of two. It'll give me two more bullets. But if I do that, it's going to trigger his behavior, and then he's going to rampage and do so he's going to do two cards to me which i don't necessarily really want him to do so i may just attack him again mm. for gunfire but the problem is i don't have any <clears throat> bullets so this this is going to be really weak i almost have to i almost have to to do the the, the uh, recharge um you know what if that's the case why don't you just play the torchlight on him if it's bad right what? Because well, I want to trigger his behavior card. So yeah, you fine. could use this once per round. Mm -hmm. and we should start using that. So yeah, I'm going to play re uh, recharging. And I'm going to play this card to pay for it. And it's going to reload two. One, two. And by reloading, I also get a counter on my mastery, precision reload. Whenever you okay. reload, get a counter. I just need two to, to get that mastery. And now I'm going to, by playing a blue, I get rid of one of his struggle. Mm -hmm. Every time you play a blue. And it's going to activate these two now. So yeah. you, tr you put these markers on and say, yep, we're going to activate this guy, right? So I'm activating him, and it says, the active player reveals the top card of their deck, which is me, and that player suffers wounds unless the card is a blue. It's a green. So I'm going to suffer one damage. I'll take the damage. It's, not, it's early. Not a big deal. So that's going to... So what happens is now, as part of the behavior card resolution, you do the reaction... And then you see, are there any Rampage cards out there? Yes, there is. This one triggers as well because it's a Rampage. So it's going to flip, and then we're going to have uh, Faithful Assault. Players in the front sector, that's you, reveal the top card of your deck. Mm -hmm. Players who reveal the same color as another player. Um, there's only one player in the front sector. Player reveals a, yep, and you did, an attack card. You suffer a wound. Am I discarding this or just revealing it? No, just it? revealing it. Okay. So you could suffer one damage. So I take a wound? Yeah. You want to okay. take the damage? Yeah, I want to take the damage. All right. Boom. Because I have Blade Rush. When yeah. I suffer damage, I may discard the card to immediately overrun the monster and deal two times weapon damage. So that'd be two damage. That's two times weapon damage, right? Isn't uh, that two times this? Uh, I Is this think my weapon? two times weapon damage deal two. But I think it's like two times. Yeah, I guess it is. Right? Yeah, normally it's like two times level damage. Let me see your player uh, aid. Uh, no, the other side. This can... Yeah, your level weapon level. level. So oh, you're level, level one. So, level one, so yeah. two times one. Yes, it's still. that's two. Yes, okay. that's what I was okay. thought. That's what I thought. So he's going to take two damage. Well, what that'll do, though, that'll knock mm -hmm. him down. That'll cause one full wound. <laughs> Boom. And it lets me overrun him again. So you get to master uh, So that. I get to master that. Excellent. So that's a good... A yeah, good, I was kind of like waiting to get hurt. Uh, you actually jumped me over you, by the way. Oh, I did. Sorry. Not you. Over him. There you go. All right. So uh, we're done with that. When a player suffers attrition damage, all behavior cards in play. All right, so we haven't, we, that hasn't happened yet. So we resolved both of these. Now they both go away, mm -hmm. and we bring out two more. That's how the res resolution works. One, two. All right, cool. So now I'm still going. I'm going to play a red card, and this is going to trigger that thing again. But um, gunfire. You may spend a bullet, I'll spend one, to increase the damage this attack deals by three times weapon level. Mm -hmm. So that'll be three points. So four, five, six, seven more damage. Okay. I'm just like That's great. wrecking this fool. So he's got another seven damage on him, but that is going to trigger, so shooting him in the side, it's going to trigger this guy, the red card. So we are looking at this. There's no rampage cards out, so that's not bad. Uh, the active player becomes threatened and suffers wounds unless they have a yellow card in their sequence. I would like you to use yeah, that card fine. to negate this. Sure. So you don't have to do anything with it. It just it just gets used. Okay. Because yeah. it doesn't go away. No, no, don't flip it or anything. Okay. It's only used once per round. Yeah, so I know. The round's just like over. remember it's being used. Yeah, it, we'll just remember it's already done. So that gets done. Um, he also gets another counter on him because I did shoot him again with a bullet. He took his damage. And... 
that activated, so that's done. Boom. So we're back to here again. All right, so that's it. I'm out of cards, so I'm not going to okay. play any more cards. I'm threatened, so I'm going to take two attrition cards, which I know I'm going to get hit because I don't have any defense out here. Uh, but he also is... All right, so he is turning to your sector because you played the torchlight. You distracted him from oh, it. Oh, that's, that's right, why yeah. That's why that happened. So now I'm going to do two of these. So we've got a two and a one. I would take the worst, which is a two, which means I'm going to get hit. So I take one more damage from him from attrition. But with attrition damage, because of his peril, he's going to activate this but rampage. Do he, does he do this too because he moved? He does, yeah. He turned. So we'll, we're going to do both. Well, yeah, we'll do this one. And actually, it's going to trigger that one. So... We got each player in the front sector suffers a wound unless they ha reveal a green card. You have one, so no wound for you. Mm -hmm. And then this one goes because we do Rampage. The aggro player reveals the top card of their deck. If that card is a, an attack card, they suffer wounds, and it's not. Mm -hmm. he, gains um, he gains one, one struggle. struggle. All right, so he's going to get a struggle because it was not. It was a green card. So boom, boom, done. He's going to go one. And then we shuffle, but because we're shuffling, he is going to un, um, he's going to escalate. Yeah. Uh, when the behavior card is empty, he gets one struggle, so it's not a big deal. Remember, at six, he's gonna unleash, which just does damage to us, so no big deal. Yeah. All right, so there you go, all good. End of the round. So now we do the attrition's over. Discard all cards from the sequence. Draw cards up. Monster turns to the aggro, which is me. And we are happy again. Okay. So I'm going to draw up my five cards. That is the end of the round. One, two, three, four, five. And we're just going to keep going. We're mm -hmm. not going to talk about all the rules because you saw that in our last video. Okay. Um, you want to use a potion? No. Okay, so we're going to do behavior refresh. We're going to drop the lowest level card here, which yellow is probably, right? the yellow. And we're bringing out a rampage card, and then we uh, are doing struggle. So he's going to gain two struggles: hmm. three, four, five, six. He's going to pop. So we reduce Maybe that to I two. Maybe I will to take this potion. We each suffer one wound. Really? Why? Uh, maybe I'll wait. It's the Hadrox is cool. So you suffer damage equals to the weapon level. Mm -hmm. Your cool. weapon gets plus. Well, I'm only a level one. Mm -hmm. Your weapon gets plus three damage until the end of the round. That's not bad. So all the attacks I do, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing that much attacking. Okay. Um, it is my turn because mm -hmm. I have the aggro, so yeah. I start the round as player one. So I am already. Did I activate that? Uh, yeah. So this guy. Actually, we're activating both of these because Actually, what this one means three. is if any player is in mm -hmm. the flank. So yeah. these are going to hit. So we're going to do one at a time. Okay. So we'll start with this guy. And the active player reveals the top card of their deck. During the action yeah. phase, they must either play this card as a So I got to play a red card as a first card. Um, this now triggers because of the rampage. The aggro player reveals the top card of their deck. If that card is a. Red card, which it is, I take a wound. So I'm going to take a wound. Okay. And then these two get discarded. Mm -hmm. Brings another one, another two out. This is bad. Mm -hmm. So now we trigger this. And both of those. And both of those. So discard the top card of the attrition deck. Okay. If it's a base card of one removed it's from the game, not. it's not. So it just stays, right? So this is gone. We'll I used to repeat that. Oh, yeah, so he's going to pay and do it again, and it's not. Good on him. He's actually helping me. Mm -hmm. uh, that was called a boost is what he just did. So players in the front and flank sectors reveal the top card of their deck. He gains one struggle for each different color. So what do you have? I have red. Blue. All right, so he's going to get two struggle. He's up to three. And then finally, players in the front sector reveal the top card of the deck. I know it's red. Um, I'm going to suffer another wound because of that. So I go one, two, three. I've got five wounds already. Man, I'm getting beat down. I'm going to have to take a potion next round. Uh, but that is it for his activations. One, two, three. He's okay. angry. Yeah, he's not having it. So now, maybe I can get to go. So we'll see. let me move. Oh, all right, so... 
at least I can play. I have to play a red card first, right? Otherwise, I take yeah. a wound. All right, so I guess I'll just play this for free. It's a cover fire. When another player would suffer attrition, you may discard this card now. So this is, but this is gonna, it's gonna trigger this stupid thing. That's not good. Uh, do, 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 do. When you discard this card from your hand, draw one. Ooh, I like that. I'll do that next. So, I guess I'll play this. I'll, I'll trigger the red. It's a new round. You can actually negate hmm? the effects of this if it's yeah. bad. So, okay. I'm going to play this and do my damage. So, I'm going to do... Uh, I can't do damage. i gotta, I got to move. So, I'm going to move. I'm going to discard... Here, when you discard this card from your hand, I'm going to discard it to gain the stamina to move, and I'm going to move here. And that's going to let me draw one card. All right, so I haven't played a card yet. All right, so I'm going to then do... So I have to play a red card first, so I'm going to do Cover Fire. It's free to play. Mm -hmm. It's going to do four damage to him. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he's got eleven damage on him. Mm. He is now going to... Mm. All right, so I can play more, but I'm going to have to trigger this first. Not good. The active player becomes threatened. I'm already threatened and suffers wounds unless they have a yellow card in their sequence. I don't. Can you use that to prevent me from yeah. getting hit? All right, so let's just say it's used up this turn. I'll put a token on it. Okay. So it's used. We can't use it this round, whole round. So bang, it's done. He's going to unleash and gain a peril. And not only she's going to escalate because he's shuffling, but he's mm -hmm. going to take two damage because of my markers on him when that right. happens. So he's actually going to have one left over, and he's going to go down to eight. So one more, he's going to change stances. Shuffle these up. Come on, flax here. I know. Well, we're hurting him. Mm -hmm. We're not too bad yet. So I played that. I can do some more now here. So let's see. And this, this is good. Let me do this. When you discard this card, it generates stamina for a red card. It generates two, but I don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I can play some, like I can play this green card for free into my sequence and mm -hmm. it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Because it, um, it's not out here. It's not a bad thing. So I'm going to discard this guy for two stamina, and that's going to pay for this tactical reload. It's another green card, which will get me a reload of three, but that'll give me my mastery of precision reload. So now whenever I, I reload, I can search my deck or discard pile for a red attack card and add it to my hand, which is really nice. And then finally I have this guy... When you discard this card, it generates stamina. I'm going to hold on to him, not play him. Mm -hmm. So that is it. And we are going to attrition. So he's going to... I'm threatened, so he's going to draw two. So I've got a two and a one, so he's going to do two. But I have two shields, so I'm going to negate that. No damage to me. Uh, discard my cards from my hand, from my sequence. And then... I will draw up, and then he's going to turn to face me, and then it's going to activate. So that's one, two, three, four, five. He is going to turn to face me and my aggro, and he's going to flip this guy. Each player in the front sector suffers wounds unless to reveal a green card from their hand, and I have a green, so I will, I will take no damage. So I'm good. Okay. It is your turn. Very good. Um, let's see. So the active player does not trigger that because I'm in front, not you. You're behind now. Mm -hmm. So I guess it starts out with your choice to move. Yeah, so I'll move. I'm going to go here. Um, and I'll pay a stamina to do that. Cool. Right here. Now you get plus one damage from that spot. I sure do. Um...
I'm going to play this, and I'm going to use my other struggle to do it. Stamina? My stamina, I mean. Yep. Uh, I've got struggle on the brain. Yeah. Hold on. Um, I have my mastery, so I get mm -hmm. to draw two cards oh, cool. for that. Yeah, that's good. That is good. This is very good. All right. Um, okay. That's bad. That's bad. Um, I'm going to do this. All right, that is going to trigger that. Which is, I'll pay for with. This. All right, that's gonna get rid of one struggle, which is good. And yeah. this is gonna, it's gonna trigger yeah. this guy. So let's see what we got. The active player reveals the top card of their deck, suffers wounds unless it's a blue. It's, it's a blue, blue. wow, yes. good you. All right. Good job, all right, easy peasy. Fantastic. Um, all right, Sue. So. This is still an attack card, isn't it? It's a blue attack. They're oh, called. It's called blue. a maneuver card. It's not really an attack right. card. Okay, just checking. Mm -hmm. Um. So I will play this then. Mm, for one stamina. For one stamina. And I guess I'll do. It doesn't really help me to play three of these, does it? Um, so that's just going to do weapon damage. It's going to do, well, it's going to do two things. Because what this means is if the next card mm -hmm. I play is red, I get to do this. Do so I get your... to deal weapon damage mm -hmm. and draw one. Okay. My weapon damage is three. Yeah. So he gets three hits and I draw one card. Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, yes. Now, this is lets me do weapon damage. Yep, three plus damage. one. Four damage. So four damage. That's nine. And remove one struggle. Okay. So we kick him down to two. All right. Okay. Uh, this lets me chain a blue. Mm -hmm. For free. For free, which mm -hmm. I will do. Cut through. You may immediately overrun the monster. And that does how much and damage? And when I overrun the monster, I do my base weapon damage, which is three. That's 12. So he just... And I get to draw one. All right, so he just flipped to stance number two. So he's down to seven. So at seven, he flips to stance two. One revealed, trigger all behavior cards to play with the rampage, which there are none. This peril goes away, and now this also goes away, okay. our objective card. So we don't have use of that. Right. But when Phylaxer suffers a wound, it'll gain one struggle. Okay. Um, I've also played a sequence of three of these, three, which means yeah. nothing, but... I played two. So you which get three more damage. Three. I wish I had another one to play. But I know. Three more damage on Phylax here. Yeah. One, two, three. All right. And now it's going to cost fourteen damage to do it to do a wound to him, which is yeah, a lot. And he lot. does two damage to us. Hey. Okay. So you're good. That's it. I'm good. Okay. All done. So you are done with your actions. Attrition. Now we're do attrition. You are not. You did move, so you are not threatened, and it's a zero. So you take wow. no damage whatsoever. Okay. You, you had one shield, too. I have one ready to so, go. So, yep, discard your cards, draw up to your hand limit, and it is the end of the round. So we're on round three now. Uh, he's also going to... Did you get aggro, by the way? No, I didn't. You didn't pull any, put I any aggro not. cards out? I wow. discarded them. So he's staying on me. Yeah. Wow, what a jerk. <laughs> and I'm still player one. So put us to round three. Uh -huh. uh, we'll start it off again. Consume, yes, I'm going to take my potion. Uh, hold on a second. It says... Choose a player, your sector, if the current attrition level value of the top card is one or lower, and it's a zero, I'm going to heal four. So I'm down to one wound. Okay. And I'm going to use my Aylmore, and we are healed. I'm going to play my Hadrocks. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to suffer one damage, but my weapon gets plus three to the end of the round. Okay. Can I just step out like next to that maybe so I remember? Well, um, Unless you want to put no, counters no. on it. I'll put counters on for you. Plus three. All right, so that is gone. Monster upkeep, behavior refresh. We're going to drop the yellow and bring out a rampage card. He's going to gain two struggle. So he's going to have four now out of six. So not too bad. We're managing his struggle pretty well, actually. Mm -hmm. 
and then it is my turn. So I am starting with him in front, so we are going to get some activations here. Active player reveals the top card of their deck. During the action phase, I must play a yellow card as my first card. And I do have a yellow card, so that'll happen. No problem. Rampage. Players in the front sector reveal the top card of their deck. We know it's the yellow. Uh, if the one player reveals that, I don't suffer anything. So we are good. That was easy. Real easy. You're a punk. All right, so I got to move. If your bullet track is one or higher, oh, that's pretty good too. Oh, that's really good. So I have to play a yellow card first. Mm. And I'll, I'll just play it. Yeah. Because it's free. Mm -hmm. um, but actually, I need to move first. So You should discard this to me. Oh, no. I'm going to discard this one to pay the stamina uh -huh. for a move. And I, Actually, I also started in this zone with that yeah, plant, so I do heal. So I have no wounds anymore. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slide over here, and that's going to get rid of my threatened. So now it's time to do some nothing because I don't even have a weapon card do I? Uh, I do have this one so mm -hmm. strafing that's a zero you may spend a bullet to deal three damage if you do you may immediately move without paying any stamina cost well that was really cool mm -hmm. um, I don't really know if I want to do that though do I need yeah. to do that I don't know if you want to no I'm going to play actually I'm going to spend this for the stamina and play this guy and then draw X for X is your bullet track level. That's three. So I get three cards. One, two, three. That's great. Yeah. That's actually really good. Uh, all right. So. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Oh, this is a good one. Oof. Do I play this? This is play like. Play it. You may spend three bullets. If you do, stun the monster. And decrease and increase the damage this attack deals by four. Another player can generate stamina to help you with this as well. Um, ouch, that's like powerful. I don't know if I want. I, I don't want to spend all that stamina. I may mm. hold this for my next. Yeah, hold it for next time. Um, I like that. I like that. Um, you saw you may discard this card from your hand for that damage. Okay, that's pretty cool. Thing is, I want to spend one of these cards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this one for free, mm -hmm. and uh, spend a bullet game. Yeah, I don't need that. So that's because just what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of one of his, his uh, what you call it. I've got two. All right, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm good with that. Okay. So I'm gonna hold on to these three cards. I like, I kind of like them. All right, so I'm done. Okay. And it is now attrition. So I roll, I pull one. It's a three. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thanks. So I'm going to take two damage. But when you would suffer wounds, you may discard this card from your hand to prevent that damage. So I'm not going to take any damage. So I did not take damage. Yeah? Yeah. We look good here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I was supposed to trigger. No, I did trigger stuff in the beginning, right? Yeah. yeah. So I think I'm good, actually. I think you're Discard good. Discard cards from my sequence and then draw up. One, two. I get to draw. And I also get two stamina because I had two cards, but I'm going to have to shuffle. So now I do take one damage because I am uh, fatigued. When mm -hmm. you, Whenever you have to reshuffle your deck, you do take fatigue damage. Um, but doesn't your... Have you been doing this? Thing. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't shoot him this time. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't play a red card. Got you. Okay. So, um, and I didn't spend a bullet. I just reloaded. So I didn't. I didn't get to do that. But right. he is gonna face me because I do still have aggro, unfortunately. Um, but all these are gonna trigger, right? Why? At least this one, because we're in the flanks. No, because he's facing me now. Oh, he's facing. And at the you start now. of your turn, if any player's in the flanks, that triggers. Oh. And there okay. are none. Got you. So we actually are really good. <clears throat> so you're up. Okay. What are you going to do? Hmm. All right, so I'm going to play this to cross over. When you discard the scarf from hand to generate stamina for movement, you may overrun the monster instead of moving. If you do, remove one struggle. So overrun we go. Um, and so my weapon damage is actually six now. 
for now because this plus three. So six damage, please. Okay. I also remove a stamina from him or a struggle from struggle, him. Struggle, yeah. So there's that. That card also removes struggle from him? Yeah. Wow, that's a good one. Like if you do the overrun, then oh, you remove the struggle. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to play Piercing Strike. It's going to activate that red thing, which is Oh, bad, but, shoot. Yeah, but we'll resolve um, this first. But I will pay for it with this. Okay. Uh, mm, this is such a good one. I'll pay for it with this. This guy. All right, so. Um, so I do. Six damage. Six damage. So five. No, I don't, because I'm not on oh, his flank. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you can't attack him this on this side. Yeah. You need to move. Um, but I can immediately overrun him, so I will do that. Okay. So I overrun. But you and did no damage. Six. Yeah, because yeah. when I overrun, I do weapon damage. All right, so five, so six. six, seven, eight, nine. But it's 15, and it takes 14. So he's got that plus one. So he's going to go down to six. But whenever he takes a wound, he gains uh, one struggle. Yeah. Okay. Is that all you're doing? Well, I have to do that. That's not. All oh I'm yeah, you do, played a card. Oh, that. okay. Yeah, you're right. The active player becomes threatened and suffers. Yeah, I don't. Uh, wounds unless you have a blank. Yeah. yeah, and you do not. So you're gonna suffer two damage. Okay. Actually, I suffered four damage. Why? Do, doesn't he have a boost? Uh oh yeah. Um, but what I'm going to do is play this. When you would suffer damage, you can discard this card to have the damage and draw one. All right, so then I So will... I only get the two. Okay. Then he is going to spend oh, nice. his thing, though. So that's that. Now we do the rampage. Players in front uh, and flank reveal the top card of their deck. He gains one struggle for each different color revealed. Okay. So he's so only going to get one. you're only going to be the one to reveal, reveal Just one. Get one. Yeah, so he's at three. So we're, we're good. He's done. Okay. Uh, he is going to... Um, escalate. He's going to gain one struggle because of the deck deal. And then you go. You may continue on your mm. turn. Wow. This would have been a good one to have. The haves this and the have-nots. Backstab. So when mm. you over on the monster, you may discard this card from your hand to deal four Oh, four level damage. Mm -hmm. So that's not like super good, mm -mm. I guess. Okay. Um, I'm just not in the right spot to do this. Yeah, you can hold it. That stinks. Um, thinking if I want to play this too. The green card? Yeah. Just to get your defense out? Yeah, I might. So I'm going to play that as well. Okay. So just because it lets me, this shit lets me play the for green free. for free. Okay. So I draw, get to draw one. a card. And it gets you a shield, but it does it gain does you give me aggro, aggro. Which I know you're happy about. Yeah, because <laughs> I've had it this whole time. Um, yeah. I can't really play this, so. Oh. Right. You get it for I free, can. but you can't hurt him. Yeah. But I can't hurt him. See, that's what stinks. Yeah. But I'll do it anyway. So I'll do this. Because mm -hmm. I can chain that, right? Mm -hmm. um, I can't do any damage. Mm -mm. Can I discard to move? No. no? It's no. only the beginning. Only the beginning right? can you move. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I'll do this. Let you draw two and discard one. Huh? It lets you draw two and discard one because you chained that symbol. I just think it's such kind of a waste. It's a total waste to play those cards. You're gonna get yeah. stamina if you hold them. Right. So why wouldn't okay. you just hold them? Yeah, I'll just I'll just wait. All right. So <clears throat> that's gonna get you stamina because you finished it. Yep. Um, activate. You did all that. Did you want to activate your helmet? Add it That'll to my get hand? you through your deck because yeah. you discard it. So it gets discarded, okay. but now you're through your Yeah, deck. that's true. Um, and that's it. So then you're going to draw cards to your hand size. So yeah. you're going to take fatigue damage, which is just one damage. Yeah. That's all it is. It's not anything big. You haven't even drank your Elmar Oceans, yet. Yeah. yeah. So you're you're good to go. Now, you don't want to drink it now, though. We'll see what happens after this. Yeah, I'm not drinking it now. Yeah. I don't think I can drink it now. You can't. Not till 
Well, I mean, like, if you had to do it right now, it wouldn't. Yeah. Because you got the three, you don't want that. Okay. Uh, so now he's going to turn to aggro, which is you. So he's going to turn to face you. No big deal. It doesn't trigger anything. Mm -hmm. We're still good. And now yeah. you're threatened, so he's going to pull two cards. So let's see yeah. what he's got. And the two. So it's a two. Okay. And I've got a one. So you are going to get hit for two damage. You don't have any cards that you can discard? Um, no. Dang it. I don't either. So, two damage. We have ten health, and you're at seven okay, damage yep, right now. I know. That stinks. <laughs> All right, so take those cards back. Okay. That's the end of the round. So okay. we're on round four. You're player one now. Mm-hmm. It is going to look, and there are no nobody uh, yeah. in the flank, so he doesn't activate yeah. at the beginning. So and we get rid of this, don't we? Yeah, monster upkeep. So this is going to go, and then he's going to get a yellow out. That's good. He's also going to get three, four. He's going to get two, and he's going to pop. So when he does his um, unleash, we're all going to suffer two damage. Great. Yeah. So you get two more. So you're at nine. Yeah, you got to definitely got to heal. Oh, yeah, you definitely need to heal. So, it is your turn. Ah, I should have done this. My stupid jaws. Oh, well. Oh, and you had the whole discard yeah, pile? Yeah, I don't even know. Well, it was like my whole deck, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, but... you would have done like six damage to him. Yeah. Did you want me to do that? Well, we don't know how many you had. Well, I had my whole deck, except for these two cards. All right, right? so how many are in your deck? And Not what was in your two. hand. Right? Yeah. So it was none of none these. None of those. So how many cards did you have? I mean, it's going to exhaust it for the rest of the campaign. So, Two. Well, the, the rest of the scenario. Like, I only have two. Yeah. So I have three, so that was two. Two. It would have been four damage you would have dealt to him. Yeah. Is that worth it, I guess? I don't know. Is it? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I, I would wait till the okay. next time we get through if we make That's it that fine. far. I don't know if we will. It's a good chance we won't. Okay. Uh, so, do you want to take your potion? The, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. What's the uh, current attrition level? Two? It's two right now. Yeah, it sucks. Well, you're only going to heal for two hit points? I'm only going to heal for two. Yeah. But one more hit and you're knocked out. That's the issue. Yeah, I know. So it might be worth taking. I mean, I have to. Mm -hmm. I don't have a choice. Yeah. So that'll heal you for two. I don't have anything to heal myself. That's the problem. No. I guess stay on that. Stay, if you stay here, can you, you can there. use the rock as cover, yeah, too. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, so my turn, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you definitely want to move. Um, wow. Oh, I have stamina, right? Mm -hmm. I use one to move here. Boom. Okay. Now beat this dude down. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. Um... So we're gonna play this. Oh, see, that's, oh, that's gonna, gonna trigger. trigger. Yeah. Maybe I won't do that. <laughs> oh, um, but stealth. Stealth will stealth hide. Stealth yeah. hides it. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is what we're gonna do instead. We're gonna go shadow strike. Okay. Mm, you with dragon me? Dragon strike. Dragon strike. Okay. We're gonna go shadow strike. Your cards gain stealth till the end of the turn. And that's really all that matters. Mm -hmm. So this gets rid of a uh, struggle. He doesn't have any struggle, right? Yeah. Um, and it was free to play. Um, it's free to play. And that's it. I will pay this other stamina to do this. Echoing Blades. Which will do weapon damage, which is four right now. I need a plus one for this because I got through my deck. You get a plus one? Yep. Oh, yeah. So you get plus one damage constantly. So that's going to do that. four damage to him. Just for being the blades. Four damage? Four damage. Wow. Thank you. Okay. And then I will... Ooh. Ooh, what? Your guards, your cards gain stealth. That's really nice. I know. And then I will do. 
I'll play this play by one. paying this. Okay. Um, and since that's an attack card, I do draw two and mm -hmm. then discard a card from my hand. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do another four damage to him, right? Yep. Okay, he's at nine. Okay, uh, and then I can chain for free one of these. Yeah, and that's going to take a. You now he's got like no things left. Um, no struggle. Remove a struggle. He's not have any but that'll do. Oh, that doesn't do any attack, does nope, it? It doesn't. See, that's not really worth but it's, playing. If you could play, oh, man, I, I wish can't. you had one more. I know, I can't. That's the mm. problem. So. Yeah, it's not worth playing. Yeah, it's. It's kind of worth keeping until you have a better chain. Yeah, it's like. If it's not really worth keeping though, because then you're like kind of stuck. Mm hmm. I mean, I could keep this guy. But you already, you already did the damage to him. And play that guy instead. No? Okay. But you can do three more damage to him. Because you have your blade dance thing. Um. Actually, five more damage because you have four of them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, that does. Okay, that is what I wanted to do. Okay. I forgot that it wasn't like. <laughs> it's not, it red or, didn't, yeah, not color. It's just specific. red or blue. It's yeah, both. so, so that, I do five more damage. That's enough to wound him again. Yes. So okay. when he gets wounded, Good. he gains a struggle. So he's down to five. We got him halfway down. All right. All right. So that's it. Um, you want to play those two just to get him out? I might. Just yeah, to have because two shields? I need some shields. Yeah. Well, I already have stealth. No, but that doesn't. Oh, that doesn't help with attrition. Doesn't help you with attrition, yeah. So play um, those if you can. I, you, have to, uh, you can only play one. Why? Because you don't have stamina. I have one. I can play one and do one. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying you yeah. only can play one. Right. Yeah, I'm going to use this to play this. All right. So. And that lets me draw two cards. Oh, yeah. So you might want to oh, play another green card if you can. Yeah. Get two out. Yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. Watch, what, watch what's about to happen. Um, even though this is a great card. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to play this to play this. Mm -hmm. And that lets me overrun the monster. Mm, that's and when a I overrun tough the monster. Call, why? Because if you start your turn here, you heal one. Next turn. That's the only way you're going to start healing. Oh. I would still play that for the shield token. Still play it? I'm getting rid of a really good card. All now. I'm saying is, you only have one shield token. If I draw... I know, yeah. A yes. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying don't overrun him because then I can't heal. Well, I mean, you can and do damage to him, but he's going to hit you. You're not going to heal. I know. All right. I'll just stay here and not overrun him. Because he's drawn two cards because you're threatened. Oh, great. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you should also do your red scale helm before we do this. All right. That's discarded. All right. It's the best we can do. Ah, you aren't going to make it anyway. Why? Because he's got this. When revealed, each player in the front sector... Well, there's no player in the front sector. Mm -hmm. But it's a two yellow, meaning you have to have two yellow oh, shields. so like I, I wasted those cards anyway. But you didn't know. Yeah, stupid animal. Yeah, so he hit you for two. So I'm dead. No, you're at nine. Oh, you're, that's four damage? No, 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 he only hit you for two damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're at nine still. You're not okay. dead yet. Actually, you would just be unconscious. It's not like you're dead. Yeah. And I would just have to revive you. But you're going to heal one next round, so it's not the end of the world. Well, we'll see. We actually were supposed to do this. In the no, game. you were stealth, so oh, I was you're stealth. fine. That's right. That's why I did that. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. I'm keeping track of all, all the right. rules here. Thanks. That's a lot of rules. I know. Me. I know. This is this is the uh, the nature of these. Yeah. So here's the deal. How many of those do you have in the pile now? Those what red, pile? the your threat, the um, your aggro. Aggro. Yeah. Not many. Okay, just one. Just one. Okay, so it's not. I only have three trap, yeah. in my whole deck. Yeah, but uh, when you get them out in the pile is when you want to use them. Well, I had them all out in the pile. All right. So he's going to turn to you now because he's aggro. Right? And now it's my turn. Okay. So he is going to trigger this because I am on the flank. Discard the top card of the attrition deck. If that card is a value of zero or one, remove it from the game. So it is a one, so it's gone. Repeat it if he's going to spend that and repeat it. And it's not. So I have all these good overrun cards, but I can't do them. Yep. All right. So he's done doing his nonsense. So now I get to shoot this fool. 
I'm not going to move, so I'll take threatened. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> because I'm on this flank now, and mm -hmm. I get to do extra damage to him. Sure. All right, so when you discard this card, it generates stamina. For a red card, reload one, but I don't really want to do that. You may spend a bullet. If you do, you can confuse the monster or increase the struggle. This maneuver removes by two, but he's got no struggle, so that's not even worth it. Hmm. Fire Cascade. This is a zero cost, and it just shoots him. Mm-hmm. This is kind of cool because it just, it's just it's just a it's a free shot. And you get to reclaim that out of your discard too. If, if I play ever, two if reds. If you ever play two reds in the yeah. future. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna i I'm gonna fire off a cannonball. And I okay. gotta I gotta spend four stamina. So here's two. And here's two more. That's four. And this is gonna do I can spend three bullets. You may spend three bullets. If you do, the stun you may stun the monster, increase the damage of this attack by four. Okay. So I'm going to do four, four is eight, plus one is nine damage with that one shot. And he's stunned. Okay. And let's double check what stunned means. Hopefully it means he just has to stay there. Well, let's hope he doesn't get to do anything for the next two turns until we can kill him. Great. That would be great. Thanks. Stunned. You could just be stunned. That'd be great. Uh, yep. So let's get this proper. So the keyword ability when you stun a monster, place the corresponding stun token on the behavior card that is in play on a behavior card. That card cannot be triggered this round. Okay. That's okay. cool. So I will grab a stun. I don't even. I don't think it really matters what it is. I'll just put any old token out there. I'll put this funny face token out. So, hmm, which one do I want to stun? Because I'm going to play. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. When, you can, when you discard this card right now. So I have aggro now. So I'm going to do. I'm trying to think of which one is going to be the best here, right? Because he's going to turn to me mm -hmm. at some point. But I also have other cards to play. But if I don't play them this round. He doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So I'll play this one okay. for free. And that's going to give me another five damage. Okay. So that's five, ten, 14. that's 14. That's exactly enough. So he takes another wound. Wow, he's on a four. See, we mm -hmm. got this guy. This guy's a fool. He gets one of those because every time he takes a wound, he gets one of those. Those are two. I'm not going to play these. Yeah, get your stamina. And I'm not going to trigger anything. So yeah. I'm going to get two stamina back. That's that's the way you slow play this fool. That's great. I'm out of bullets though. That's the only sad part. Yeah. He's not going to turn. Um, oh, yeah, attrition. Yeah, so he's going to pull two, and I don't have any defense whatsoever. So he's going to hit me for two damage. So that's five. No biggie. He's going to turn to me. But it doesn't trigger this because he was stunned. And now he's over. All right. What a fool. So that is the end of the round. We're round five now. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take a potion? Nope. No potions. Oh, behavior fresh. I'm player one now, so I get to go first. He's going to gain two struggle. And we get to move. I get to draw up the five. One, two, three. We're almost there, actually. Yeah, where are you Wait a minute. He's at three? Yeah. No, no. Oh, one more. Yeah, yeah. One more and he goes into his last phase. Yeah. That's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. um, but we're okay. Well, speak for yourself. Well. <laughs> are we though? Uh, okay. So draw one. If your bullet track level is one or higher, draw two instead. when well, it's not. I need to reload. All right, I'm going to discard this one. And if you discard this card to generate... Now, do I want to move? I do. I need to move. So I'll spend one stamina, and I will move here. Hmm. Okay. I'll discard this card to generate stamina for a red. And if I do, I get to reload one. Boop. And when I reload, search your deck for a discard pile for a red card and add it to your hand. 
and I'm going to take Cannonball back to my hand because that, that is a really strong card. And I guess I should shoot him now, huh? Yeah. Shoot him with bullets. Actually, I do get to put, I didn't put a counter on his thing because I did use a bullet on him. I used three bullets, actually. Okay, so I'm going to play a blue card. This is going to trigger the stupid blue card, though, unfortunately. I'll pay one stamina. Mm -hmm. And I'll do the blue first. So that's going to knock this down to a two. Mm -hmm. Draw one. It's my, my bull track is one or higher, so I get to draw two, actually. And it's going to trigger this, which is active player reveals the top card of their deck. I will suffer unless it's a blue. And it's not. Ouch. I'm going to take two damage. Do I have a oh, card no. to negate that? I don't. So I'm going to take two whole damage. That hurt really bad, actually. That is not good. Yeah. That really hurt. That really hurt. That really hurt. Ooh, that was painful. All right, so here's strafing. You may spend a bullet to deal three damage. If you do, you immediately move without paying any stamina cost. Hmm. But do I want to move? I don't think you want to move. I think you're like where I am. It says you may, but I can yeah. do three more damage to him for nothing. Mm -hmm. It's like a free play. I don't know. Do I want to do that? Is it worth it? I don't know. Um... Spend it. Uh, I can do this all. Man, red cards are going to trigger too. Like, don't I have a stealth? I know. This is not good. I need to reload. Alright, you know what? I'm going to spend this one for one stamina and I'll play another blue card. You may spend a bullet. If you do, confuse the monster. Mm -hmm. So he's confused. What does confused mean? Hmm. got to work in our favor though, right? It's got to, right? Confuse 107. Let's see. When he's confused, um, turn the monster to the sector of your choice. Next time that monster would activate a boost effect, discard the confused token instead and cancel that effect. Mm. He still pays the cost. At okay. the start of the next round, uh, it's discarded. So you would put it on the monster board. So he's confused. Okay. So he'd probably move like like this, maybe. To wherever we want to face him. Where yeah, was it? Yeah, I just made him face okay, here. Okay, so we'll just put that here. I know that's blind, okay. but... Uh, but he did move, so that triggers. Uh... I don't want to do that. <laughs> Increase the struggle. This removes by two. So I, actually, it removes all of his struggle, too. No. Confuse the monster or increase the struggle it removes oh, you know what? Too. Let me just not confuse him. And okay. Just, where was he facing? He was facing this way. Okay. Just leave him facing that right. way. Uh, there's no real point in that. Yeah. I'd rather not trigger yeah. that. Um, I do want to get some cards out. So I will spend these two cards, these two reds, for stamina to bring out a tactical reload. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Three bullets. Um, so that is going to give me... I get to take a card into my hand. A red card. And I'll take this one. I think. Is there a better red card? I can search my deck too if I want. Um, yeah, that's a good one. I'll take that one instead. And it's not the reshoot. Oh, you know what? I'd rather this one, actually. Okay. Shuffle. Okay. Oof. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. Okay. Get I'm your gonna stamina. Get two stamina. And he is going to do some stuff here. So let's see. Discard all cards in your sequence. Draw up to your hand limit. Actually, no, attrition first. Mm -hmm. So he's going to draw two. One, 
too. Mm. So that's going through. Yeah. Uh, the worst one is the green one. Is that the worst one though? Uh, yeah, these are always worse. Technically. Yep. Okay, good. So one reveal. Reveal an additional attrition card and use the one that gives the worst outcome. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter then. Yeah. Um, so I will have, I'll have to take the two damage yeah. in. That hurts, man. Mm -hmm. One, two. I'm at nine damage with okay. you. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah. I'll let, I'll. Are you going to take the rock? No, I'll leave it. Okay. Um, I'll let you take the rock so that you don't die. Okay. Uh, so that gets taken away. I'm going to draw five. I mean, I may not. He's if you want to use the rock. Well, you actually have to move. So maybe I shouldn't use yeah. the, Maybe I should use the rock. And then you can get lost. Yeah. Three, four, five. Because you can't stay there. I can heal and then move. Yeah, so. you'll heal one. Yeah. So but your, is it my turn? It is. I just finished. You it. did all this? I did. Well, he didn't do anything. Uh, he well, turned. Yeah. No, I'm saying you have to take one of the... No, that's at the start of the round. But this is the start of the round. No, I just went. That's, we're in the player turns. Oh, I didn't go yet? No, I went first. I'm player one. I thought you took that from me. Took what from you? I thought I started first this round, and you no, took that from me. I started first. Oh, okay. I'm player one, see? Are you sure? I, yes. <laughs> you didn't go yet. Each player in the front sector suffers wounds unless they have a green card in hand. I, I need to suffer a wound. Um, I will do this. When a behavior card is revealed, you may discard this card from your hand and spend a bullet in order to cancel it. So I okay. just cancel the effect. Oh, so right. you're good. Thanks. Yeah. I just saved your life. <laughs> um, I could play this instead. What is that? When you would suffer wounds, discard this card to have the damage and draw one. You don't want that because that will kill you. Why? Because you have nine damage and you have ten health. Yeah, but if it's in half. It's one. He does two damage. Oh, he does two. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Trust me. Okay. Is it my turn yet? Yes. Okay. So I heal one. Mm-hmm. And I've got to move. Hold on. What? Let me take my bullet and take that card turn. back. Because okay. what I'm going to actually do is this. When a behavior card is revealed, uh -huh. you may exhaust this card. And if you're in front sector, you deal seven damage and cancel the effects of the behavior card. Oh, that's better. That's what I'm going to do yeah. instead. So this is gone. It's exhausted. Okay. I can't use it anymore. Your trap is not exhausted. You didn't use yours. But this is my skeletal spear. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do seven damage to him and not take any damage. Yeah. And negate that effect. I like Bang. that better. That's better move. So he tried That's to get better. me and I was just like, right in his face. <laughs> yeah. Taste that, fool. All right. Yeah, you can go. Okay. So. So you do start your turn and you heal one. So because you're in the plant. Right. So I move. Mm -hmm. I no. So I, yeah, I already gave you one, right? No, because you would have had ten, and you would have been dead. When was I going to have ten? I just took one, so you healed. What? I gave you one. I had nine. I gave you one. Right now you have eight. Right. Okay. I thought you like took one. I just did because you had nine. I gave one to you. Then how did you have nine? I don't know. I might have given it back to you. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm gonna go here. Okay. <laughs> for my move. Um, and then let's attack this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll play this by paying this. All right. Cut through. You may immediately overrun the monster. And draw you do, one. Draw one. So and you do four damage. Three weapon damage. Or four weapon damage. Yeah. Because this is plus one. Mm hmm. Um, I'll play this to protect myself mm -hmm. for free, and I'll play this to protect myself for free, mm -hmm. and I'll keep this. Okay. Well, uh, actually, that's gonna re that's gonna reveal that. Oh. If you play that. What should I do? I feel like I'm gonna die either way. I would hold that. So I'll just yeah. hold this. Okay. Go ahead. So. Don't hit any of these, which mm -hmm. is better. And then let's see what he uh, he does for attrition, right? Okay. You moved, so you're not threatened. So you're only getting yeah. one card. And it's a three. Oh, my God. That's a bad oh, one. Crap. So he's going to do damage to you. Do you have a card? I that have a card that will... Negate damage? Yeah. When you'd suffer damage, discard this card to have the damage and draw right, one. So you take one damage and draw a card. 
Um, and a behavior. Oh, no behavior card was revealed, was it? Right. So okay. hold on to that. So that's it. That wasn't too bad. Okay. So now he uh, so he did attrition. Now discard your cards from your, your sequence. Draw cards up to your hand limit. Did you play an aggro card? You didn't, right? No. So he's going to stay on me. Three. So he's not going to turn. And I got to shuffle. Three, mm. four, five. I need two cards, but I'm shuffling. Doesn't that mean I get a wound? You take one wound. Yeah. I'm going to be dead. Oh, you're knocked out. Yeah. So you are Understood. unconscious. Yeah. Which is not a big deal. Um, but I do get another point on my dragon wings. <laughs> That's what matters. Yeah. All right. So you, your weapon is stronger, but you are unconscious, mm -hmm. and yeah, your your helmet is now broken. I can't do anything. No, your helmet is shot. Okay. So I just have to go revive you. Did I move this? Did we start anywhere? Well, we're, we're, you just ended the round now. Okay. So you can move it now. And we are starting a new one. So do you want to? Take, you can't take a potion. You're unconscious. So uh, we're gonna behavior refresh. So that goes out. This comes in. He is going to get two of that, mm -hmm. and then it's my turn. I'm going to heal one wound because of the plant, mm -hmm. and I'm going to move. To my sector? Of course. I'm going to revive you. I have to. All right. So when you discard this card from your hand, draw one. Okay. Beautiful. I'm discarding it to pay for my stamina cost here. And I'm going to use my action to revive you. Think, see, that's an action. Revive. Oh, okay. You've been lifted up. So now you can go. You're just, you start. You basically, you're just basically doing your thing. Now right? it's my turn. No, no, no. When it's your turn, you get oh, to go. Okay. Um, I'm still going to finish my turn now. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing all the activation stuff. I wish I had a stealth card. All right, here. The next card you play this next next red card you play this turn gains stealth. So I'm going to use that for one stamina. And that is long range. So I'm going to use long range to fire my cannonball. That's a four. Wow. I wish I had stamina. So one, two, one, two, three. Wow. That's like painful. Man, I wish I had more stamina. I mean, I can shoot him really bad right now, but mm -hmm. um, these are such good cards too. But they're expensive. You know what? I'm gonna hold I on got to a my lot big of stuff card. I can do to him. So I'm gonna play this guy, and that's gonna be a zero cost, and it's stealth, so it's not gonna trigger that, and it's gonna do four damage. It's cover fire. And I'm only doing the four because it's going to trigger his thing. So it's going to have three left over. Actually, four is going to be 15, so it's going to have one left over. But that's enough to knock him down again. He's going to get another one of these, but he's also going to change stance again. So he's in the third stance now. Okay. So let's see what this says. One reveal. Trigger all behavior cards with the, what you call it on it, and he gains one struggle. So it's going to trigger this guy, okay. which is players in the front, which is nobody. And flank. Oh, and flank. Well, that's both of us. So and we, he just gets struggle. Yeah, what do you got? I got a blue. Green. So he's going to get two struggle, three, four, five. So he's going to pop. Um, and I'm going to play this because when a behavior card is revealed, you can discard this to immediately overrun. Okay. So I'm definitely doing that. And that's going to do five, five damage. damage. All right. So he's going to take another five. So he unleashed, so we're going to each suffer two damage. Okay, I'll take damage, and I'm going to play this. When you suffer damage, you can discard this card from your hand to immediately overrun the monster and deal two damage. So I'm going to do two weapon level damage plus the five, so seven damage. Okay, five, six, seven more damage. Wow. That is not good for him. So did you overrun him? I did. I went that way and I came back. Oh, okay. There, you went there and back again. <laughs> I went there and back again. Because you put my other damage on there. Yeah, right? so we need to do 18 damage to him. To wound him. Okay. All right. When you perform an attrition check, reveal one additional attrition card and use that one that gives you the worst Great. outcome. When attrition deck is empty, players in the front suffer wounds, suffer okay. damage. Wow. So this could be the end of us. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So that was a stealth attack. And while this card is a top card, you discard. So I'll play 
this as well just to do the needful okay. and that's all I'm gonna do so I'm gonna have to pull two attrition cards this is so terrible one two two yellows when revealed each player in the front sector gains wounds yeah so I'm gonna get attrition I have no way to negate the attrition. Do you? To negate the attrition? Yeah. No. Nothing. You know, it's like I've got two shields, but it doesn't help me. It's not any good. Yeah. Why? Wait, you have two shields. Why isn't that any good? Because it needs two yellow. Oh, right. Because you do two. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it sucks. Yeah, so I'm knocked out. So you're going to mm -hmm. have to. Well, at least I'm in your sector. Yeah, I guess you can just revive me. Mm -hmm. Boom. I'm out. And he faces me. My turn? Uh, yeah, I draw up. Okay. So I can just revive you as an action? Yeah. That's it? No, hold on. Because he's going to trigger this. Oh, because we're in the front. Yeah. The active player reveals the top card of their deck during the action phase's turn. You must play that card, for a green card first. Okay. All right. That's fine. He's going to gain a struggle as well. Actually, that should have been knocked down to two. Now he's at three. Because he just... Um, he just um, He just did this escalation. All right, here go. Uh, he also takes another damage okay. because of that, because of my marker. Mm. Boop. Okay. So he's got five, ten, eleven, seven, nine, fourteen. He needs four more damage okay. to, to take a wound. Um. So I'll revive you first. Boop. Oh, well, you move action? first. Your first first is your movement. I'm not going to move. Oh, you're not moving? Because then I can't revive you. Oh, okay. Well, then you have to stay so put. Yeah. I'm going to stay. I'm going to be threatened. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. He pulls two anyway on what? his attrition deck. He's he, yeah, in, in this exactly. stance, he's just going to pull two anyway. So we're always yeah. threatened. Um, so I'm going to play. I'm going to discard this mm -hmm. to play this. Mm. Draw two. Mm-hmm. So many green cards. I know, right? Mm-hmm. And then, um, I'm going to play this, run through. Overrun the monster. For a cost of this. Mm-hmm. Overrun. So it's five more damage? Five more damage. That's 19, so that's one more than we needed. So he is taking a wound. He's down to one health. Or two health. That's awesome. Um, and that's it. I'll keep this one and pull my attrition. Oh, yeah, I should get I get an extra one of those. Uh, so you're gonna get attrition. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna pull two. Yep. Oof. Two and zero. So you you nice. successfully I warded off <laughs> his damage. Wonderful. Amazing. Draw your cards. And he's gonna turn to the aggro. Did you play aggro at all? No. All right. So he's gonna stay on me. What a jerk. All right, so that ends the round. We're in round seven. This might yeah. be our last round. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. All right, consume. I have nothing to consume. Behavior refresh. He's going to lose this guy. Gain the face. That's awesome because now he's going to trigger that. And then he's going <laughs> to gain two struggle. Four. He's got five struggle now. Man. All right, well, I got to move. Uh, but he's going to trigger. Because mm -hmm. I started my turn with him in the front. The active player reveals the top card of the deck during the action phase. His turn you must either mm -hmm. play a card of that color as the first card or suffer the damage. So I got to play a blue card first. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, not this time. <laughs> not uh, this time. <laughs> well, first I'm going to move. So take that. I'm going to go here because I need to start healing. I uh, know I don't have anything to heal. I'm going to go here to do yeah. extra damage. Uh, when you reveal an attrition card, you may... Oh, that's just if I throw it out. Mm -hmm. So I did that, but that gets rid of a struggle, which is good. Um, let's see. I'm going to do that, pay another stamina, and I get to draw. I get to draw three cards. One, two. I take a wound for fatigue. 
and I get to draw one more hail of bullets. Three. All right. So I'm going to have to, I need to stealth here. When you discard this card, it generates stamina. It generates two for a red card. Mmm, that's a good one. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to discard this card for stamina. Mm -hmm. It's going to get me two. And then I'm going to discard these two for two more stamina. That's four stamina. And I'm going to play Cannonball. Mm. Spend three bullets. Boom, boom, boom. That's going to give him another counter. And that's going to do four. And four is eight plus one is nine damage. So Did he's you gonna... pay for that card? Yep. I paid four stamina. Okay. Unless you wanted to help me pay for it. I was going to say, if it helps you, I can help you pay for it. Yes. Do How that. How much you need? Just one. one. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. That's two. Discard it. If you do two, two, I'll take two back. Yeah, yeah. Take two. Okay. So that's gonna so that hit him for he's got ten damage. <laughs> that's gonna trigger this. Mm -hmm. Right? And this is the active player becomes threatened and suffers wounds unless they have a yellow in their sequence. But I'm going to negate that. Yeah, do that. Because he's so, got a boost. When a behavior card is real, you may discard this card and spend oh I can't do that. I don't have any bullets yet. Because you're gonna do two four damage. All right, so he's going to do that much damage to me? Yeah. All right, I'm going to spend this. When you would suffer damage, discard this to prevent that damage. Yeah, there you go. So that's going to negate that. And then he this would trigger after. Players in the front and flank sectors uh, check their deck. He's going to get struggle. So what do you it's have? Just you. Uh, so he's that. just going to get one struggle. Four or five. No big deal. That was easy. What a punk. All right, so now I can now I can start punishing him. Um, I will spend, I need another stamina here. All right, I'll spend this for one stamina and this, which is gonna get rid of one of these, to reload two. Boom, boom. And reloading two lets me pull a card, a red card into my hand. I'll take this one back. Okay. Okay. Yep. So I think I'm good. He's got ten damage. Man, I could. Okay. I wish we could do more. I mean, I could How literally. How much damage did you do to him? I could do if I wanted to. I could do eight, nine, ten more damage to him. So why don't you do that? Yep. So I'm gonna play both of these. Yeah. So they're both free, mm -hmm. and they both do weapon damage. Four yeah. plus one is five. Yeah. So boom, boom, ten more damage. That's twenty damage. Yeah. That's, that's gonna enough. give two over. He just needs. We need to hit him one more time. You need to hit him sixteen damage. All right. That's it. Cool. It's going to kill me, but I think I'm going to go out in a blaze of glory. Okay. All right. That's the best way to go out. It is. So, uh, but that was massive damage. Yeah. Crazy. Are you cool. done? Cool. I'm done. So okay. now he's going to attrition me. He's going to yeah. draw two. So it's a two and a one. I only have one out here, so he's going to do two damage to me. So I'm not dead, actually. Oh, what? You only have one damage on you. I know, but I only have five health. Oh. As do you. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that there you go. gave me... Aggro, he's gonna turn to me, and now is where he's gonna kill me. Um, he turned. Yeah. When the monster changes orientation, discard this card from your hand, draw up to your hand size and limit size. So I get to draw two. All right, so he's gonna trigger this, which is each player in the front sector, which is me, suffers a wound and lists to reveal a green from their hand. So let me draw up one, two, three, four, five. Do I have a green? Yes, so I do not suffer that. The aggro player reveals the top card of their deck. If it's a attack card, they suffer damage. If it's not, and it's not, so he gets a struggle. Wow, I made out. I'm not dead. That's good. Your turn. Kill him. Uh, I'll You're see already in the do. flank. You literally just have to kill him. Yeah, like it doesn't matter if I'm threatened, right? No, at all. Just yeah. kill him. You just a lot of damage, though. Yeah, you could play all your red cards. Well, yeah, let me see what I can do here. Hold on. Um... Because I want to do this. We might actually smartest. pull this off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Um. 
because I also want to try and chain some of these together too, so I can do additional damage. Emotional, Emotional damage. damage. Um. Okay, let's start with this. Ah, blue card. Let's not. I don't want to do that. Uh. But these all let you chain stuff. That I know. Stinks. All right, well. All right, we'll start with... this. So mm -hmm. I'll do piercing strike. For one stamina. And... I will pay... See, I want to do that though. I see. I need to think of the best way to do this because this will let me chain this. You know. Mm hmm. Um. Um. But why do you need to do all those chains? This is literally going to do five damage. Then you overrun them and do another five damage. That's ten damage mm -hmm. just for playing this. I know, card. but I'm trying to. Plus one is eleven damage from your thing. That's twelve, thirteen. You literally need to do six damage after that. I know. That's what I'm trying to do. So deal your weapon damage. Like I've, I'm gonna fall like one short. I feel like. What does Scythe do? It just removes the struggle. Right, but it also hits him. Hold on. Let Let me think about this. Okay. Um, because I'm trying to get all these played. You know what I mean? For what? So that I can hit him for enough damage. Because mm. I'm I don't I don't want to not smart like play these. You know what I mean? To pay for this stuff. No, you know no, I, I mean? get it, I get it. But I'm just saying, like your two red cards alone, how mm -hmm. much damage does that do in total? My two red cards only mm -hmm. does ten. Well, this one alone does ten. So fifteen. Right, 16, 17, and you're one short. That's what I'm saying. And then I'm you gonna play the blue card. Short. Yeah, but the, it only does damage if I play a red card after it. Deal your weapon damage and draw one. But okay. I have to play, that's why I'm saying, mm -hmm. like, like this one lets me chain a blue. Mm -hmm. So if I, if I played this one first, mm -hmm. I could chain my blue. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which and will then just pay trigger that. For my red. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Mm hmm. So I think that's what I should do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I pay, because I also have these cards that let me draw cards, which are yeah. usually better to play first. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Um, but that's fine. So I'll, I'll pay that to play this first, mm -hmm. okay? So remove a struggle and do damage, so do five. Mm -hmm. Six, because you're in. Mm -hmm. with that plant yeah um play the half moon so that's going to trigger this thing let's hope but which... do you want to do the resolve the card first yes so that removes one of these and it does another no 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 no, no, no not yet it won't yet it won't what it just removes one of those which it's I not going to do any damage yet correct so reveal that the active player reveals the top card of their deck if it's unless it's a blue you're going to suffer two damage and it's not so you're going to suffer two damage mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so do that. Oh, we actually should have done that, too. Okay. Because I'm in the flank. Discard the top card of the attrition deck. Oh, that's an easy one. Yeah, that's not okay, going to do anything. Okay, I just removed from the game. Yeah. Um, also, this hit that I did right sure, here should do one additional damage because I have the plant. So this should have done six to him. I gave him six. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. I already accounted for that. All right. Um, which is... This so is this is actually good because okay. he just popped. He takes one damage because of my flame. Oh, okay. Automatic. This is this just killed him. Okay. And he was gonna get another one of these because he just did that. Okay. So is that done now? Yeah. Okay. So this goes down. This goes here. Mm-hmm. So this does another five. six. Another six. Yeah. Because of where I'm at. Six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six is fifteen. This now is going to trigger deal your weapon damage and draw one. Which is so another. So I'm going to do another five. That's twenty. He's dead. Game over. Plus one, and then I can over on the monster and super kill him. He's already dead. Okay. <laughs> so I told you I was like, 
There's no way we're not killing him. Yeah. This last little okay. setup. He's dead. Yeah, so Goodbye, we killed Felixer. Felixer. Very good. So, <sighs> wow, he was tough. But they're always tough. Like, you get down to the end and you just kind of like... You really feel like you're going to be really defeated and then you do end up... I Yeah, I pulled out a lot of damage at the, my last turn as well yeah. as you did. So so that's it. Yeah. Man, what a what a rush. What a so, fight. <laughs> which I think is how it's supposed to go every time, right? Because if you so. just kind of like waltz through it, that's it'd so be kind of lame, right? So... Um, but we've killed him, so now we would uh, read the read the campaign yes. book, get a little bit of flavor. Mm -hmm. We would get our rewards, so we get all we get more parts. So this guy's gonna give us crystals. So now we're gonna need a crystal forge, yeah. build crystal items and weapons, which is really cool. Yeah, really um, cool. And then eventually we'll actually get upgraded forge and start uh, crafting level two weapons, and then eventually level three weapons. Yeah, because these gets... are only the level one yes. items. Like you think you're sitting there going, "These are awesome, right? You guys, these are like really powerful." And we are here to tell you they are very cool, but not very awesome. Very weak. Like the, uh, they're very weak compared the, to what you I get. I pulled the level three skeletal <laughs> spear yeah. by accident and had it in my when I went to set up the game. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, so this the level one does seven damage. The level three does twenty damage. So I'm like, these monsters must get but they really get dang strong. And like we said before in our last video, it's neat because like you'll encounter this same monster again, mm -hmm. but a much more powerful more, version. Way more powerful. Yeah. And it's got a, a much more powerful and much harder uh, behavior deck. Yeah. So there's the decks are so like customizable. The gear is customized. Like the, the amount of, of customization and yeah. variety in this game is unbelievable. Yeah. It's just if you have all the expansions and you have the game mm -hmm. and you just, just it took us like three hours just to sleeve this know, game. It was the cards. amount of cards is, is yeah. insane. Every single item and it has three levels. Mm -hmm. So there's three versions of every single item. Weapons, armor, items, helmets. Like, it just goes on. And then you've got your... Each character has their own deck. Base deck yeah. plus upgrade decks. And they have multiple different trees they can branch up. So right. when you start to look at your... Um, hey, these are just the starter Your cards. player yeah. uh, sheets. You've got, like, three different ways that you can level up. So I chose, yeah. like, the D tree. Right. And, and like if I can go, I can actually go up to level D2, which will give me a new mastery card mm -hmm. for that. But there's A, B, C, D, and E. e. Yeah. So you can, you I would have E, I think. You I can choose e which way. Yeah, you, you went E, and yeah. I, I chose D. So like you have a choice of which way you want to branch off, which way you think is cooler, which better suits your play style. Yeah. And these are only two expansion characters. This doesn't even count the base game characters, right. where there's like at least four of those. Um, where they have like the tra traditional like sword and shield guy, they got like the two-handed sword one. They have the archer, I think, like a crossbower. Yeah. Um, so this one's cool. This one's a heavy gun versus your right. dual blade. So they're all vastly different. Uh, so the the you know you could play through this campaign and then start it over and play with different characters and be like a whole different experience yeah, entirely. For sure. Yeah. The game, honestly, this is like as far as like boss battlers go so far. Yeah. This is the best I've ever played. It's hands really down. Good. The quality of the it's game, really the good. art. The, uh, the component quality is, is really, really high. The, the miniatures are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The game is... Plus, is it's got a good story, good, good art, story. awesome minis. Really cool. Like, the everything about it is great. just... There's no corners cut on this game yeah. at all. And it's just... I got to tell you, though, that there, the amount of boxes that it comes with and the size it of the boxes... It's like a whole section of the house. Yeah, it's like, it, it, it's it's so like a things. It's almost like a piece of furniture. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's unbelievable. But um, I can't say enough good things about this game. Mm -hmm. I really hope we gave you guys sort of a good feel for what this provides. Mm -hmm. um, because I, I think it's, you know, if you're into these boss battles, you're into campaigns, you like miniatures games, yeah. you like sort of tactical combat, you like uh, deck building, uh, character customization, character leveling, crafting, this has it all in spades. And, yeah. and none of it's been shortcut whatsoever. And the no. fact that you don't have to manage a whole monster turn that yeah. does all this stuff you right. know and just feel like you're getting punished and, and all that stuff after the fact whereas you're just getting like beat up just beat down can't do anything yeah and at least in this way you know what's coming right before you do it and you're like you know what is it worth risking getting hit by mm -hmm. doing because you're kind of like exposing yourself but you're also like encouraged to get hurt sometimes yeah because you, are. you can not just mitigate but you can be a little opportunistic when mm -hmm. it comes to the the revealing of the behavior cards and yeah. things 
uh, to take advantage of you know your own abilities which exactly is pretty cool yeah and you have a lot of cards that mitigate that damage mm -hmm. they mitigate the behavior yeah. cards you've just got to as you see yeah you got to hold on to them and, and, and kind of really hope to play them at the right. right time and if you do it you know you have enough rounds to get through it and you you've do. just got to be really smart and a little bit of luck you mm -hmm. know because you're gonna have you're gonna have some bad games and you're gonna have some yeah. good games but but otherwise let us know your thoughts let us know what you think below um and uh, you know, tell us if this is something that you have added to your collection mm -hmm. or not. Um, I believe that they're doing, they're selling it on their website now. Yeah. That, that's the whole thing. Yeah, we're so. gonna put all the details in the description below uh, if you're watching it, you know, right now. Yeah, so, so which means that you can <laughs> yeah. order direct. So if you're yeah. like, oh, I want this now, bang, go right to the website, order yourself a copy yep. and, um, and dive into this crazy world yes. of monsters. <laughs> and you know, like this is like basically Monster Hunter brought yeah. Truthfully, like brought into right. into into board game fashion, I yeah. think, and it's done right. Like it's done really, really well. So, uh, anything else you want to say? No. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. I'll see you.